Located on the F. Dot ribbon under Pay Item Tools is Pavement Markings. To use Pavement Markings, simply highlight the mode that you want to use, select the inside pattern, the Pay Item database window opens. You can expand to pick your desired pattern. If you're doing one single pattern, disable the outside. From this point, you can select a reference entity, which can be a alignment line, polyline, or in this instance, edge of asphalt from an XREF. Input your offset and select draw stripes and select side of object. To draw a double pattern, select enable outside either select outside to open the pay item window database or if you have been in your file a history will have your previous selected patterns select one put a distance between the striping select your justification your reference entity and your offset distance and select draw stripes. To use the island striping mode highlight the middle icon select your pattern if you have not picked a pattern you will need to browse through the pay item database selected a previously used pattern select it in the history pull down designated distance between the striping and the angle Select the side for side 1, select the side for side 2, select your beginning point, your ending point, and your reference pivot point, which must be in between the beginning and end point. Select draw stripes, and a group has been created with that pattern to stripe using the gore mode. Select your pattern, select item if you have not previously picked one. Select your designated pattern. Select a distance between chevrons. Select your chevron type, either diverge or merge. Select your side one. Select your side two. Notice that this is a polyline that's connected. You must have, in this situation, a joined polyline that runs the entire length of side 1. Select your narrow end. Select your wide end. Draw chevrons.